Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off the final round for Group C. Ooh, we're getting excited now, aren't we? Because in these matchups we will see Team South America taking on the Skrill, Mr. Backpack going up against Pilk, and Star Pumpkin taking on Torvasaurus. Ooh, what a big free matches this could be. Definitely the bottom here, massive game between the Skrill and Team South America. The loser of this match will be eliminated. So let's get let's get on with it. Let's get let's, let's get it done. Let's just get it done. Let's put the Skrill and Team South America out of their misery. All right, and here we go. The final round for Group C begins. And at first for Team South America, we have an Alpha Irritator. Hasn't quite happened for Team South America so far in this tournament, but they did get that crucial win before. And it is because of that win that they're still in with a shout. But only a bonus point will do. I mean, I can't remember if they defeated Star Pumpkin. I think, I think they did. But I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to double check my old videos. Anyway, as for the Skrill in the blue corner, we have a Mapusaurus. I mean, this is basically a knockout game. Whoever loses this is out. Of course, even if Team South America wins, they could, they could be out. All to play for here. And even the winner of this match isn't 100% certain to go through, so they can only do their bit and hope results go their way. Ooh, the Irritate that gets off the first hit. Oh, poop, I clicked paper. Okay, so the Irritate was going to win that exchange. A strong start from Team North America. And there's that crit. The Skrill not firing so far. Oh, I've done it again. I've clicked scissors instead. Okay, so the Irritate was going to win anyway. And it was going to kill the Mapusaurus anyway, so I don't think it changes anything. But come on, Stranger, get your bloody pick it right. Pick it right. Well, what I can't deny, though, is that the Alpha Irritator has given Team South America a 1-0 lead. And has given the Mapusaurus a well beaten, a well done beating. Okay, as for the Skrill second dino, we have a Pientnitsky Saurus. Things looking good for Team South America so far. The bonus point looks... It looks probable. Well, it's always probable, but it looks more probable. Oh, we have a tie. The Skrill finally landing some damage. Oh, we're going to have a series of ties, I think. Nope, the Irritator gets off yet another hit. But yeah, will the Skrill actually win this? Will the Skrill actually get a hit off? Like a hit hit? I don't think they will. Okay, there's the first hit of the match from the Skrill, the Pianitsky saw us. Finally getting a hit off on Irritator, and here comes the Jet Shuriken. Finally, the, but the Skrill gets a hit. Back to the ties. Oh, a hurricane beat from Piantnitsky Saurus. The Skrill fighting back. And the Alpha Irritator finally biting the dust. Ah, kickies. But here comes the MVP for Team South America, the Saltosaurus. And will we see what that Hydro Cutter can do this match? Because, well, we haven't seen it once, this whole tournament. And that's probably why Team South America are bottom. Can Hydro Cutter activate at the time when South America needs it the most? No, but the Saltosaurus does get off a hit, and I think it will give Team South America a 2-1 lead. Yep, yeah, and this... Trufio Rush will make sure of it. So Team South America still in a strong position. But here's, here comes the Joker of Team the Skrill, the Eoraptor. Ooh, it's become a Soro Faginax. Uh, what moves will it have? 
Okay, so it's got Blazing Spin and Fire Bomb, so nothing too spectacular. I mean, Eoraptor's always a coin toss, so you never know what you're going to get. Oh, here comes a tie. But I think that will suit the Eoraptor. Ooh, a crit from the Eoraptor. I'm going to just say Eoraptor. I know it looks like Sword Falcon, but it's basically Eoraptor. But that Hydro Cutter has been triggered. That if that Hydro Cutter activates, it will be a bonus point win for Team South America. But they're not going for it. But what I will say is that Team South America are getting off hits. Oh, here it comes. Oh, here it comes! Oh, but it's Dino Stuffer! Stopping that Hydro Cutter and stopping the Elimination. <laughs> oh, that's a huge sigh of relief from the Skrill. Because if that Hydro Cutter had activated, it would have been game over. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, the Soul Faganax! Eon Raptor. Uh, you know what I mean. Oh, that's it. Team South America have been eliminated because they can no longer get that bonus point win which they needed to have any hope of qualifying. Okay, as for Team South America's third dino, we have a Carnotaurus. Oh, how costly was that hydro dino stuffer? If Hydro Cutter had activated there, Team South America would have still been in the tournament. But instead... The Dino Stuffer coming from the Skrill, stopping Team South America from winning, and pretty much eliminating them. And now it's up to the Skrill now, can the Skrill get the win they need to qualify? Oh, here comes a firebomb! All of a sudden, the Skrill looking strong! Ding. Ooh, but here comes a Lydian Cure. The Carnotaurus getting off that hit. One more hit will win it for Team South America, but it doesn't matter now because they cannot get the bonus point that they need. The Skrill, though, getting off a Firebomb. There's still a chance for the Skrill, though, if they win this match. Well, it all comes down to this. One more hit from the Skrill, and it's this for the win. Oh, the Skrill has done it! An impressive come from behind from the Skrill to defeat Team South America and keep their tournament hopes alive. Massive win. I mean, Team South America will get a losing bonus point, but it doesn't matter now because they're already out. Such a huge win that for the Skrill. Of course, it may not matter if results go against them, but it does at least give them a glimmer of hope. Right, I'll update the table and we'll move on to our second match. Alright, that's how Group C looks going into the second match. The Skrill in second with that massive win. And actually, yeah, assured their place in the last 32. Because... Even if, if Mr. Backpack wins, these two have to fight each other. So maybe maybe if if Star Pumpkin wins and Torvo gets a losing bonus point. Actually, yeah, if Star Pumpkin wins and Torvo gets a losing bonus point, Torvo will be above the Skrill because Torvo won their matchup. So yeah, there is still a slight, slight chance the Skrill could be eliminated. But I'd say it's an 80% chance that the Skrill is through. Right, without further ado... On to our next match. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Mr. Backpack, we have the Dust Pletosaurus. With the useless technique boost that hasn't seemed to have affected Mr. Backpack's campaign thus far. Two wins, two defeats. But that's been enough, thanks to the bonus points they've racked up. But it will be tough, because in the blue corner for Pilk, we have a Baryonyx. 
There's Barry Onyx has helped Pilk get to the position they're in. With three wins and one lot defeat so far. And this Barry will be at a type advantage against the Splitosaurus. Oh, a good start from Pilk. Here comes an Aqua Whip to give Displeosaurus an absolute whipping. Oh, look at that damage and a shockwave as well. An absolutely brutal start from Pilk. But let's be honest, this Displeosaurus has been not very great for Mr. Backpack. Oh, that's a tie. That's the best that Mr. Backpack could have asked for there. Subsided the momentum there that Pilt was on. And a stun dash as well. Could be a crucial hit that for Mr. Backpack. To stop the, to stop Pilk's momentum there after that first move. The Aqua Whip did a decent amount of damage. And the Shockwave tightened the screw. But Mr. Backpack fought back a bit. Ooh, but the Barry gets the hit. And there's that type advantage, and there goes Shockwave again. Which pretty much, well, it does guarantee that the Pilk will have a 1-0 lead, and the Daspletosaurus is going to die. How will it die? In a tie. Oh, it doesn't die, it survived. Well, another tie to finish it off, but the Barry did take a bit of damage. So Mr. Packpack, not too far behind, and here comes the MVP for Team Backpack, the Nodasaurus. We've definitely seen what elemental power can do. A very resilient beast, this tank. And it is not to be trifled with. And it's been I've been very impressed by Nodasaurus. I think it's been in terms of individual dinosaurs, it's been definitely the one of the biggest surprises in this tournament. Is this Nodasaurus? Oh, and you're about to find out why, because here comes Sandtrap. Sandtrap will lower the Baryonyx's defense in a tie, which means that when it is a tie, the Baryonyx will take more damage. Oh, here comes our tie, and yep, as you can see there, Normally, a tie would not have been enough to kill Barry there, but because of the effects of Sand Trap, it is. Alright, as for Pilt's second dino, we have a Megalosaurus, and... <laughs> for those of you that watched my Jurassic World Evolution mod showcase, you can see why I had trouble with its background, with its skin colour, because it's, it looks a lot grey in this, doesn't it? But, I made it purple. The warning type effect there. I don't really know what it does. Oh, oh, here comes another sand trap. The Nodosaurus showing us all why he's been one of the biggest surprises in this tournament. I don't know if elemental power affects secret dinosaurs. I think it does. I mean, I would assume it does. But only when it uses its secret moves. Speaking of secret moves, the zero G throw be being triggered there. Wow, the Nodosaurus is cleaning house. Here comes a hit, and here comes elemental power. Wow, look at that. Very little damage dealt though, because secret dinosaurs do have the type advantage over all the others. But only when they have secret moves being triggered like this. And there was Earth Barrier there. Tightening Pilk's grip on this match. Yeah, that that is what Sandtrap does. That is what Sandtrap can do. And this is what Nodosaurus can do. Making, making light work of the Megalosaurus there. And look at this all of a sudden. After a strong start from Pilk, Mr. Backpack definitely on top. Well, I, I might just use Nodosaurus for my next tournament, for the next time I do a tournament. Okay, 
As for Pelk's third and final dino, we have a Kralophosaurus. No point in going through it because it has all secret moves. Oh, finally Pilk gets off a hit, but that Earth Barrier there in effect limiting the damage. And I think Elemental Power limited some damage as well, but actually no, maybe not, because that's not a secret move. Oh, the Nodosaurus strikes back! Oh, I think Elemental Power's maxed out. Huh, interesting. Ooh, the Nodosaurus chipping away at the Cryo. Yeah, you look at that. Definitely more damage was dealt there because of elemental power than it was for the Megalo. A bonus point win looks good. Is looking promising for Pilt. The script that missed the pack pack, sorry. But the Cryo does get off the crit to finish off Nodosaurus and even the score. But the Cryo is on very low health. So it will be tough for Pilt to come back because one hit from this Super Paris will end the fight. Ba -da -ba -da. Uh, well, we're not. We probably won't see Awaken Mode to be honest. But if we do, the Awaken Mode's on too. Actually, we might see it. We might see Awaken Mode this match. Can Mr. Backpack close out the competition, or can Pilt come from behind to win? Ooh! Pelt coming back, I think. That's once. And all three secret moves have been triggered. So what if one of those gets activated, I think it will be game over for Paris. Oh, what's this? Nope, instead it's going to be game over for Pelt. The B Mr. Backpack getting off that crucial green impulse there. Stopping the Cryo's little comeback and securing the win for Mr. Backpack. Oh, that's a tough one. Hmm. I couldn't tell if Paris' HP was below half or not. I think it was slightly above, but I'll have a look when I edit the video, and if I do change it, I will let you know. But I think I'll, I'll deny Pilk the losing bonus point. What I can't deny, though, is another impressive win from Mr. Backpack. Alrighty then, time to update the table and we'll move on to our final match of this video. Well, here's how Group C looks going into the final match between Star Pumpkin and Torvasaur. A win, f well, anything other than a defeat for Torvasaurus will do it. Even a losing bonus point will do it for Torvasaurus. Anything other, other than a win will do it for Star Pumpkin. Oh, it all comes down to this. Alrighty then, here we go. At first, in the red corner, for Star Pumpkin, we have a Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus Star! Uh, we've seen one Aqua Javelin from this Spino so far. I think one off the top of my head. Maybe we've seen a few more. Anyway, in the blue corner for Torvosaurus, we have an Isosaurus. Well, we've seen zero Aqua Javelins and zero Ocean Panics from this guy, but with a grand total of 50 technique, I'm not that surprised. I'm sure Torvo's learned their lesson at this point. Don't use moves like that on Isosaurus, because he's not going to work. Oh, the Isosaurus gets off the first hit. And surprise, surprise, there's no Aqua Javelin. comes a tie. No ocean panic though, but ties will definitely help the Spino. As will that Kamikaze tackle. Wow, loads of damage done and the Aqua Javelin activating as well. What I will say is this Spino does have 700 technique, which is a decent amount, so I won't, comp I won't, I won't slap down the Spino that much. Oh, it's a tie. The Isosaurus hanging on by a thread. And there's the tie again. 
And well, no ocean panic, but it but it's not gonna activate anyway because the Isosaurus died. All right, up next for Torvo, we have a sh Super Shantungasaurus. Torvosaurus started so strong in this tournament, but has definitely faltered as of late and is on the brink of elimination should they lose this match. But as I said, a losing bonus point will do it, so it doesn't matter if they do lose. But if they do lose, they have to secure that bo bonus point or they'll be going home. Okay, Awaken Mode on two. That Awaken Mode could be key for Torvo getting back in this game. As is this hit. But no Fawn Whip. Oh, it's a tie. What's activating? Green Impulse be activating, and that will help the Shant even the score. Crucial that for Torvosaurus. We've seen it so many times in this tournament where you fail to kill the first dino on low health, and that first dino kills your second dino, and you end up going 2-0 down. But that has not happened to Torvo. Alright, up next for Star Pumpkin, we have an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Quite a popular choice in this tournament. Um, I will have a little a few complaints if Flare Sword activates on a consistent basis. Because this Acro only has 330 technique. Ooh, has the momentum changed? Star Pumpkin started pretty impressively. Forgot to activate Awaken Mode. But Torvosaurus fighting back strong. Oh, that's a tie. That will definitely suit Torvo more. But I'm sure they would have loved the green impulse there. Will they get one here? Nope. What about now? Nope. But it is definitely suiting Torvo more. And there comes the hit. Of course, irrelevant because the Acrocanthosaurus was on low health and died anyway. Okay, as for Star Pumpkin's third dino, we have a Mega Raptor. Torvosaur is in a strong position though, because despite being a type advantage against disadvantage against this Mega Raptor with a Shant, he will have the type advantage if his third dino comes in. So yeah, Torvo definitely in a strong position to win this match. But as we've seen with RNG, anything can happen. Ooh, a two platoon crush from the Shant. Despite being at a tight disadvantage, this should do a respectable amount of damage. Like that. There's a tie, but no green impulse. Another tie. And actually, that has guaranteed Torvosaurus' position in the last 32, regardless of what happens here, because Torvosaurus has secured at least a losing bonus point. There you go, Torvo. You can breathe a huge sigh of relief now because you're safely through to the last 32. But I, 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 have ve I have very little hope the Star Pumpkin will win this match anyway. Okay, as for Torvo's third dino, we have a Cachyrodontosaurus. This beast will be at a type advantage against that Mega Raptor. And that type advantage will probably be enough to see Torvosaurus over the line. Ooh, but don't count Star Pumpkin out yet. A hurricane beat coming from Mega Raptor. And despite being at a tight disadvantage, it does do a decent amount of damage. Here comes the tie. Ooh. And this isn't affected by the type disadvantage, so it does standard damage, and all of a sudden, Star Pumpkin in with a chance. 
And it all comes down to this. Oh, Star Pumpkin has won it! Star Pumpkin has snatched the match! But despite Torvasaurus losing this match, as I said, he will get a losing bonus point, and that is enough to see him through. But what a comeback from Star Pumpkin there to book their place in the last 32 and eliminate the Skrill. Ooh. <laughs> Bravo, you two. Bravo. What a match to finish off Group C. Right, I'll update the table and we'll end the session. Well, 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 look how tight Group C is. You've got Mr. Backpack topping Group C because they defeated Pilk in their matchup. And then you have Pilk in second on 11 points. Star Pumpkin on 10 points after that big win over Torvosaurus. And then we have Torvosaurus sneaking into the top four there, just hanging on there after three straight defeats on nine points. The reason why Torvosaurus is above the Skrill is because Torvosaurus defeated the Skrill in their matchup. Yeah, I will, I am I will base it on type on matchups, which I have done all along. So yeah, sadly for the Skrill, despite a valiant, valiant effort, they will be going home. And that is such a kick in the teeth. It, it really is a kick in the teeth. You, you get three wins, and three wins is, would, I would say, it would be enough to get you through, but not in Group C. Such a tight group. Like, you literally have two points separating the Skrill and Backpack. And it shows how massive bonus points are in, are in this tournament. Because if it wasn't for the bonus points, Torvazor would be going home. But because of those bonus points, the Torvasaurus managed to match the Skrill score. But the Torvasaurus, Torvasaurus goes through because they defeated the Skrill. And yeah, that is how Group, sh group C is shaping up. Well, that's how Group C will finish. Ooh, it's an interesting one because... That means possible matchups could be Torvasaurus against me or Shadow Force. Star Pumpkin taking on either Laos or Tor. Pilk going up against Dino Nerd or Ibuki. And Mr. Packpack taking on Ultimate Dino King or Sky for Skydrive. That's as it stands so far. I mean, now that will change when we finish off the other groups. But that's at the minute is all the possible matchups. So I hope you enjoyed this session. Stay tuned for next time where we will conclude Group D. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.